Hey everyone, how you doing? I am here with uh, my trusted old friend, Magog. How you doing? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Young Professionals Saturday Night Fever! Yeah! Yo. Now we're going to get really unprofessional. <laughs> yep, I even did like a singing bit to show people how I'm... fucking unprofessional I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so, how you been, dude? I've been doing okay. You know, I mean, ups and downs. Ups and downs. Wrong. Ups and downs. A lot of ups and downs in my life. A lot right. of ups and downs. All right. But uh, that's a cool new little intro thing you got there. Uh, did you watch that? Yeah, I was watching live. And I, uh, did you film that? Or is that like stock footage with like the old computer? Yeah, yeah. And the lamp. I, yeah, I just got it got stock footage. I okay. tra tracked tracked the shit on. And so you did the the lettering popping up on the screen, obviously, and all that. Yeah, yeah. So I figured out <sighs> I, I I do a little promo for for the Discord server, and uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys who are listening, uh, if you're in the Discord server, uh, you can hop into the green room, and we can take some calls. Uh, we're going to take while. some fucking calls, man. Yeah. We're going to try this out because I need to try this out, too. Yeah, I, I've I, never done this yeah. before, so I'm very curious as, uh, as to um, yeah. how it works. I need to learn this fucking shit about time. <laughs> now, to, 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 now, everybody, I, if this is your first time ever doing this and, like, calling into a show via Discord... Um, this is the unprofessional stream, so we need your audio quality to be as complete shite as possible. <laughs> All right? Make sure that you're, like, driving with the windows down, you're talking on a phone, you've got, like, a dollar store brand earbud in. Yeah, yeah. That'd be perfect. That'd be great if you guys could uh, do that. That's That'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be awesome, yeah. And yeah. I, I would also like to, to just see if, if someone could go in there and just check if it works. Um, so if you're, you're in the, uh, uh, in the discord server, just uh, go into the green room, make sure it works. Cause this is the inauguration of the green room. So everyone, yeah, we, uh, we need to know if everyone has privileges to, to see it or what's going on there. Unfortunately, we're doing this on your live stream channels. So there's not as many people watching. No, no. So, so I mean, we might not get. I didn't want to get start, anybody. I didn't want to start a new live stream on the main channel just just after doing um, like a two hour one. <laughs> well, you know, it it might have worked as kind of like an after show, but uh, hopefully we at least get like one or two people. Because yeah. your live stream channel, you're not going to get as many. Watchers, no, no, no. So maybe, this is a tiny you know, channel, obviously. Yeah. So so there might not be enough people to actually join the discord can call in but uh we'll see if somebody shows up yeah you know? yeah yeah obviously um, but it, it's it, since is since we're not really sure of what we're doing right now it's good to not yeah. do that uh in front of a thousand people i'm i'm watching so um i'll drag somebody in when somebody pops up in the green room yeah so if anybody wants to talk to me jeremy the creator of magog Morskar, uh fuck undoomed if you guys want to talk to me <laughs> <laughs> now's your chance now's your chance that's your big chance because he never talks to anyone ever <laughs> like yeah it's not like i hop in my discord on regular basis just to bullshit with my fans at all i never do that yeah um but uh given that i am more handsome and high way more successful than undoomed i'm sure everybody watching would prefer to talk with me Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. We we got our yeah. first caller here. Right, yeah, let me, we do. Let me see if I can drag uh, this guy in here. There you go. You're on the air. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Your audio does not sound like shit. <laughs> Come back <laughs> when your audio sounds like shit. Primer. So yeah. So you you, you actually you, said it right. You're, you're you actually said it right. Primer. Primer. Prime, yeah, Prime Mercer. All right, so got we got it. Prime Mercer on the air. Um, so what? I'm a fucking what's, nerd. So what you're so. telling me is that I'm also not only handsome and more successful, but smarter than Undoomed. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that on this server. 
<laughs> also, yes. sorry for any background noise. I'm currently outside because it's. Oh, that, I, it feels, that was. It, it feels was, way too fucking nice outside to not be outside right now. That was right, a requirement. Right. Well, at the, at the, the point where it gets yeah. annoying, we'll kick you. So there's that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's also a good part about the Colin show is that when I'm tired of your bullshit, you're going. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. That's just the way. It, that's just the way it is. Yep. So how you doing? Yeah. Did, did you have any interesting topic to talk about? Um, I was so basically. I honestly just want to talk about AOC right now. Okay. Because I've been watching a lot. Of, I've been watching a lot of videos on her and because le- I kind of took a break from watching political stuff and just. And recently, I've been getting back into it, and this is and she's a topic that's been interesting me. Right. She's um, far from interesting. I I think you need to get. Okay. Up. I. Okay. I mean, interesting in the sense of how fucking <laughs> stupid she well, is. I mean, like a train wreck. You can't look away. Yeah, you can't look away. Yeah. Um, I gotta calm down on the jokes. I'm being the only one funny on the stream tonight. <sighs> oh my god! How big is your head? Like a lonely <laughs> island. Like a. <laughs> Well, um, well, uh, thank you for calling and thank you for your topic of discussion. I'm, uh, I'm disappointed it's not worshiping me, but that's okay. We'll. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm just doing it to annoy. I'm just doing it to annoy undoomed at this point. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> Put me in the green room. No, what what is the newest shit from AOC? Uh, cauliflower is colonialist. That's Wait, what? what? Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what that, that is. was a big one. Tell me about that. That was a big that. one last week. She did she did a video on Instagram. I think it was Instagram or whatever, where she's walking around doing her you know, like in New York, people are trying to plant gardens on the rooftops of buildings and in streets and stuff in order to promote like a healthy green lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh so she's she's showing off her rooftop garden or whatever, and she's all like, You gotta plant you can't be planting like cauliflower, like you got, because that's like colonialistic. Like you have to plant like African plants, like yucca. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? In order to be like to to promote the green like agenda, but also to be diverse, you can't plant cauliflower because that's that was brought over by the racist white man. So what? now we're attributing plants to race. Yeah, I guess so. apparently. Uh, oh, old yeah. donkey chompers is not very intelligent. Okay, she's she's no. not very no. no. She but, I she mean, is Jesus not. Christ! It's a fucking plant that you eat. Can we just eat the stuff that tastes good? How about well, that? That's the thing. Sargon actually did a video on it. Um, kind of segued into the fact that uh, Undoom just had Sargon on his uh, live stream on the main channel. Go check that out if you missed it. Um, Sargon did a video on it and brought up a really good point. New York City, which is where she was, you know, doing this mm-hmm. uh, video, is, um, I mean, it's pretty cold, right? So only certain plants yeah. will grow. Mm-hmm. Yucca is like a fucking tropical plant. Like, you're not going to get people just replacing their cauliflower with yucca in the middle of New York. I'm sorry. Like, I... That's not a plausible thing to do. You know, like, uh, that was a very good point, in my opinion. What if yucca just doesn't grow well there because of the climate in right. the north? Right, And What's wrong know, with cauliflower? Who doesn't like cauliflower? It's like, tasty. How, 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 yeah. How, how, yucca? That's not, that's yucky. You can tell that from the name. Yeah. I can tell, yeah. I can tell you this, I've never had yucca. I don't even know what the fuck yucca is. What is yucca? And I'm not being racist. I just no, when's no, the I, last time you were like, gotta go to the grocery store and pick up some yucca? I have never <laughs> bought any yucca. I can I can tell you that. Um, I don't think it's even sold in American stores. No, I <laughs> I've never seen that. But yeah, that was a literal thing. I actually got the video. I was gonna do a, a I got I gotta get back to doing some content because I thought I'd be moved by now, but things got put off, so now I'm gonna do content. And sometime this weekend I'm gonna do a funny video on the Ocasio Cortez thinks cauliflower is colonialistic. It's promoting co- colonization and the uh, degradation of indigenous people by planting cauliflower. Because, because of course it is. 
Because okay, I've been, called, I've been called racist for a lot less than fucking cauliflower, honestly. And I'm not even white. Yeah, I mean, people uh, think I am, but yeah. I'm not. You, you, you could be racist yeah. for anything now. So, yeah, it's so yeah. fucking stupid. Can we I, just go I, back I also... to the time when the word meant something and it was actually, you know, worth calling someone out for it? <laughs> yes, no. I would like that. I would no. honestly like that better than now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think I'd like the where... '60s better. Well, the '60s may not be the best. Let me period, let but... me <laughs> let let me shake my magic eight ball and see what the outcome of that is. Uh, it says, uh, "Go fuck yourself, twat." So uh, outlook not. Well, good. you're a negative one, aren't you? I know. We're not going back. Words don't mean things anymore, except except words are violence. Other than that, yeah, <laughs> War, <laughs> milkshakes aren't violent. Words are. No. What was it you said in your tweet? Throw throwing things, th uh, like milkshakes aren't violent, but uh, like words are though. Duh. Yeah, you know that's <laughs> like that's honestly what... that okay that whole milkshake thing just frustrating me why would you waste a perfectly good milkshake on someone you don't like i don't know i mean obviously well, that, you you don't appreciate the fat, fine art of milkshakes as a fat ass that that's the part that pisses me off now don't don't <laughs> get me wrong the left is somewhat right a milkshake doesn't really hurt you it makes your clothes dirty it sucks Sure. But when people sure. call that violence, they're not saying that the milkshake is hurting anybody. They're saying that there's a chance of escalation. There's violence. a chance that person's going to turn around and knock your ass right. out. When you're totally okay with throwing something innocuous like a milkshake, what's the next step? The well, brick? You know, that's a the rock? thing. If you let, <laughs> like, you know, if, if you have Secret Service letting that through, then obviously someone's going to put acid in it. You know, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just gonna happen. That's actually yeah. that's actually been tweeted about. So I brought that uh, I brought that up in the chat when you mentioned it with Sargon. You mm -hmm. were all like, because Sargon was like, eh, don't give anybody any ideas. Sorry, bro, they're already talking about. Like I saw this one like real hardcore progressive was like, oh boo hoo, conservatives like alt right, you know, like obviously calling him all right, but they were like alt right po 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 politicians like getting all upset over a milkshake. Maybe we should throw what we should maybe throw acid on them and you know like shit like that and it's like people are tweeting about that and twitter won't ban them right like i don't That's, i don't understand uh, i got i got a 12 hour suspension from twitter for calling a retard a retard oh, but they really? won't ban that mother yeah but they won't ban that motherfucker for saying let's just go throw acid on them then i've been watching you use the word retard a lot and i was like oh i guess that's okay now uh because i know nope. I, I i knew you're you got banned for that before so i was like oh is it okay now again nope it's it's whether or not somebody reports it because twitter doesn't see everything but that particular retard uh reported me ah uh, because you know, yeah because that, that used to be a huge thing like two years ago like you couldn't even use that word like, oh retard um, you can't say that that's the r word uh, yeah, I'm currently in a server where that is counted as a slur, can't be used. But yeah, it's like, I love it's, those people. It's like it's I like love those people, so I'm not big on using it. I try not to. Right, well, but it fucking, sometimes it's motivated. Yeah, when somebody's like, "You can't use that word; it's offensive." I go, "Well, that's fucking retarded." Yeah, you're offensive right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're offensive to my sense of free speech, asshole. But uh, yeah, obviously you shouldn't use it for for someone who's just slightly stupid. There are nuances. Yeah, no. Nuance, bro. Yeah, I mean, think about this, though. I mean, going back to the original topic, uh, a lot of riots have actually been started by just somebody throwing a fucking water bottle at somebody. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what the logical person is talking about, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's like... But you can always tell what side somebody's on. Based, well, not side, but you can always tell their stance on something. Whether they like the person it happened to or not. Yeah. That's purely it. 
Yeah. Like, if I absolutely hated Sargon of Akkad, like, I just thought he was a fucking asshole, and that he, you know, is a total, like, alt-right neo-Nazi, I would have still come out on Twitter and been like, y'all stop throwing shit. Seriously, this could yeah. escalate. Like, this could escalate. And then, what happens when they throw back? What happens when he throws a fucking punch? When he gets all pissed off, his suit got ruined, and he pulls out a fucking knife and stabs you in the jaw. <laughs> Well, I mean, you don't, I, on, obviously there, there's that, but you don't even have to go that far. I mean, yeah, you, you, I have defended leftists that have been um, uh, censored, and I think that's a matter of principle. You should do that. Because yeah, like, there's no I, free speech unless everyone gets to say their piece. I don't no. like telling people, oh, I don't like you, so you don't get to say what you want to say. Oh, it's like, I hate that. That's so weird. It's, it's kind of like how Harvard like created different scoring for the SATs in order to get into Harvard based on race. Hmm. So like Asians have to score higher than black people because there's already too many Asians and they want to be diverse. Could you imagine like sitting like being a Harvard counselor? And somebody applies to your college and they come and do their interview or whatever, and they sit down and be like. Well, you got a you got a, a good high score, but you didn't get high enough, so you're not allowed to come here because you look like this, and you hold up a picture of like an Asian dude. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. That's fucked up, and that's, that honestly, that's something that pisses me off. <laughs> that's where we're hitting. Right. So you can get a black person who only has to score like an eight hundred, but Asians have to score like a twelve hundred. Right? Yeah, yeah. So a black person gets to go to Harvard on a lesser, on less work and less, you know, like studying and stuff. Well, then what happens if they get hit with all the workload and everything and can't fucking handle it? You know, like you're, you're going to get some bad statistics. I'm not saying black people are stupid. I'm just saying when you don't have to work as hard to get into a prestigious school just because of the color of your skin you're going to have a certain level of people who didn't have to work that hard to get there and they're not going to they're not going to put forth that effort like somebody who worked really hard to get a high score mm -hmm. and that has nothing to do with race it just simply has i mean it's just kind of backwards way of thinking it really is yeah I mean, so it's it's it, in my opinion it's the same thing you're not allowed to say that because you're on the side that i don't like yeah, I mean, right? where, yeah. Where, where can that lead to except for tyranny? Well, it is tyranny in its simplest form. It's not like governmental institutionalized tyranny, but it is definitely tyranny on, a, on an interpersonal well, that level. It doesn't really matter to me. Like, fucking tyranny is tyranny. I don't care who's doing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, in my opinion, tyranny is tyranny, but there is, people can be tyrannical without ever being in governmental power. Yeah, of I course. mean, just, you know, you know, you could have a boss at your work that is just a fucking hard ass, just a tyrant, you know? Yeah, yeah. My mom's ex-husband was considered that. Not going to get into in on him. Let's just say he was a fucked up man that deserves to die. God damn. <laughs> Look, okay. he abused me, okay? So. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, gotcha. Let's keep it. Let's keep it unprofessional. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's. I, I don't want to be your therapist today. I'm just tired. You know. Makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with you, man. Yeah, anyway, I've good. I've said my thoughts on AOC. I uh, that was your original query. Yeah. 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 We got a new caller. All oh. right. So, all right, um, we're going to thank you for, for your uh, input, uh, Primorsu, Primorsu, I can't. Primorsu. Primorsu, right. Paramecium. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go to the next caller. So thank you. Okay. Thank, thanks for Have a good up. night, guys. Thank, yep. thank you, man. Bye. Bye-bye. Yay. Hey! So, uh, Naslock. 
Hey, how, how you doing? doing? Naz. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. What? So, oh. what's what's on your mind? Well, uh, thinking a lot about the uh, sort of censorship sort of shit that's been going on with Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, taking people right. off, shit like that. So, yeah, it's been on everyone's mind, hasn't it? Well, everyone. Yeah. Most yeah. Of <laughs> Well, the uh, the other part about it too, right? Is they're uh, they're even like banning people or giving suspensions out of people who talk about or mention other people in a non defamatory way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like if you talk about Infowars positively, you'll get banned, right? But right. It, <laughs> but you're allowed to talk about Infowars negatively. Yeah, if you want to talk shit about it, that's fine. Yeah, that is really that's skewing the facts. And you know what? Years ago, I stopped calling Facebook Facebook. I've been calling it Skynet for years, and people called me crazy. <laughs> yeah. People called me crazy. Well, who's crazy now? <laughs> well, you might still be, but that's neither here nor there. I, I, I resemble I rather, that remark. Can we just settle on fascist book? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll work. There we go. Fascist book. I like that. Mm. That's, that's, that's a nice medium. So. Yeah, that sounds like fucking Hitler's scrapbook. But like, oh, the, the, here, here well, is I mean, me at the Olympic Games, and here is me at Auschwitz. Why does, here it, is... why, why does Hitler have an Indian accent? I don't know. I can't. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at German accent. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's terrible. I mean, that, like you're saying now, uh, now it's luck there. Um, if if you just mention uh, Tommy Robinson, you get banned. Oh right! But if you're yeah, a leftist, you can get your thing unbanned. Yeah. Mm. Because obviously, then you're going to be talking shit about him. So then you get unbanned. So you you actually have a system where people can talk shit about you endlessly, and um, they can't do anything about it. Um, is that fair? Is that the way we want it? <laughs> that's the way some people want it obviously it's, yeah it's, it's yeah. getting a little absurd obviously they they um, obviously they think it's never going to come for them Ooh, we're safe can we talk it, about can we talk about, i mean that's really good points really good stuff can we talk about the real issue here i think the real issue is why mark zuckerberg looks like he is simultaneously becoming self-aware <laughs> and hacking the defense department <laughs> remotely <laughs> Like, because why, he is. Why, he is. Yeah, don't let him near Wi-Fi connections that are part of the DoD, right? I swear to God, that man has a dot matrix brain. Uh, he's <laughs> he's probably already taken over the nukes. They're like they're, they're <laughs> under Facebook control. So he's like every time the DOJ comes up to him, it's like, you know, we're thinking about splitting your company. He's like, have you thought about the nu nukes, though? Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you know, I could just use my little uh, Facebook Messenger here, and you know, do you, do you I can message really? my nukes. No, yeah. there are nukes. No, 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 they're mine now. Do you really think Trump has his finger on the button? No, no, it's Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> it's Mark Zuckerberg. He's got, he got a little reptilian finger, right? He, he's our <laughs> robot overlord. No, he's not a reptilian. He's a fucking android. He's commander data for christ's sake he really does look it too though yeah. it's absurd oh, i man. love those memes because of how accurate they are mm -hmm. like that man sits it's crazy the because it's Congress. true he drinks water out of a glass like something pretending to be human drinking water <laughs> yeah. out of a glass it's, it's, a, meme it's, a, it's a miracle he didn't just splosh it all over his face <laughs> just, and poured it out all, all like slow like a robot arm yeah put it up to his cheek and missed like <laughs> oops i mean if they had if they, they had just kept going if the if c-span had slightly better microphones built into the fucking tables right there they would have heard the <laughs> as he brought his glass up to his face <laughs> He would have. They would have. They would have picked up the sound of the servo engines oh, yeah, moving yeah. his joints. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, with that Facebook thing too, I, uh, it was just from a Tim Pool video I watched. I think today we were talking about there was some uh, a lot of ad companies are pulling their stuff off from Facebook because uh, was it a CrossFit company? I guess they had their channel yep. banned. 
Uh, yeah, they had one of their channels banned, so they decided to just pull out, man, like millions yeah, of followers. Yeah, because it was just... un unpopular opinions they were talking. It yep. was like, uh, was it like a raw diet? It was some sort of diet thing, I think. But it right. was like they were considering it like a fake news or not reliable sort of uh, information. So they they cut it, and so the CrossFit's like, okay, well, the hell with you guys were cutting too. And apparently, there's been quite a few other companies doing the same sort of thing because they have wrong think, you know. Right, <sighs> right, yeah, it's a. Uh... But they went ahead and just like that's just a sign that Facebook's probably gonna go the way of MySpace eventually. It's just gonna be like a, a fucking like, old website that people just go to, for nostalgic reasons. Yeah, and to, right. And to and to promote their shitty band, you know, like, <laughs> so like, because <laughs> Gen Z's not using Facebook anymore, man. No, They're, absolutely not. Instagram is actually like. User wise, Instagram's pulling ahead, man, for, for, for Gen Z age range. You know, oh, what does it matter? It's still Facebook, right? Um, it's the same company, yeah, I know that, but uh, that that app is what I'm saying is that app is going to be more successful, and that's probably what they're going to push towards since Facebook's just become the place for. You know, like your fucking sure. grandma has Facebook, you know? Nobody wants to be on it anymore, really. <laughs> yeah, but your grandma has Instagram, too. That is true. We're starting to see a lot of the older generations try to be hip and cool with the kids. I know I, don't I have ever stepped on Instagram. I think I made an account to look at something on there before, probably porn. I don't know, but... I thought Instagram... I downloaded Instagram the first time. I thought it was an app to get uh, mail-ordered cocaine by the gram <laughs> um <laughs> that's what it was instagram <laughs> i thought it was like an instagram of fucking coke instagram of weed instagram of pcp like whatever i wanted yeah that's pretty much what it was no but uh it's um it's just a crazy thing that that instagram i mean i have an instagram actually uh that i've never posted to because they don't have a fucking desktop app. I don't want to no, fucking have, sit with a fucking five-inch phone with a keyboard the size of a postage stamp. <laughs> right? You they don't do actually things. let you post with on the web. You can't not post fucking things on the web. That's actually probably a really good idea if you think about it. Why? Well, then it can be contained inside the app. Right. What what the hell does that matter? Well, then it it it's it's like you can build an internal audience of people that use Instagram, but you might not have as much shit come up from your past posts to use against you as you would on just the broad internet. You know. I'm not sure what that even means. I mean, you can see everything on the internet. You just can't post on the internet. Everything you post on Instagram is accessible through the web, and you can log yeah, in. You can, still go to the, you can the log in to your it. Instagram account on the web. There's just no post button. They've. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought it was like all in because I don't use Instagram, so I don't know. No, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. I, I, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I know it's really popular, oh, so dear, dear. so I registered there, so I have an account, but I'm not gonna fucking. Go get my fucking cell phone every time I want to say something. It's 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 crazy. Why don't you have a fucking web interface like every other social media app? Yeah, like I I, I guess I guess it's because they probably figured out it could be one of two things since Facebook owns them, right? It could be that they want people using Facebook more than Instagram on their computers. And Instagram's more like they're trying to get people to use that on their phones. Or two, they don't want to put it on the internet because it'll instantly become cancer. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. People are going to be people. And most people probably don't care. They probably just get go get their cell phone. It really doesn't but, matter. It's, I would just like to point out that I still haven't gotten my gram of okay. No, that's really sad. I think you should sue him. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a really good case. I really, I really do. Uh, well, you guys got another guy in the green room, so I'll back out so you can pull him in. All right. Yeah, nice thanks, talking to you guys. Thanks for, for showing up, man.
Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for all the laughs, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got James Jones on the air. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's up, guys? What's, what's going Jim on? Jones, let to, do not drink his Kool-Aid, Undoomed. <laughs> do not <laughs> are fucking you, are, do it. Are you old Don't friends? Don't do it! Are you old hey, friends? Hey, my Kool-Aid is the best shit in the planet. <laughs> are, you, are, are you old friends? No, yes. I've never talked to... But come I've on, James Jones? <laughs> come on, James Jones? Come on, Jim Jones? Come on, you were alive when the Jim Jones thing happened, right? Come on, Jim... We, you, you know? Oh, okay. The okay. cult, Jim you. Jones? I got the... you. All right. It, I, didn't, I didn't make the connection, but now I get it. Drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, <laughs> drink yeah, yeah, the Kool-Aid. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah. drink the Kool-Aid. I'm also, I'm also known as, uh, what was it, Rackus News, Damus Nubis, um, Jamesy Nubis. Oh, why do oh, you have Rackus. fucking 35 names, man? Hey, hey, I was switched to Rackus News. I'm obeying the undoomed letter on this one. I'm switched to undo. I switched to Rackus News, and that's it. We're staying there. That's uh, that's it. That's not Good what your you. name says. It says James Jones, man. That's on Discord. Yeah, <laughs> you have to have the same name all over the place so we can fucking recognize you. Otherwise, yeah. what's the point? It's called branding. Yep, that's branding. a lot of work. I don't know. And <laughs> even even if you want to use a different name on Discord to remain anonymous, why would you pick Jim Jones? Because it's not <laughs> like a porn name. <laughs> <laughs> or a cult leader. Like, I don't... Do people how, forget how do you know, history? How, well, hold on. How do you know I'm not a, a cult leader of porn? You don't that's, see. That's there you good, go. Well, that would actually question. raise your value if you were. Yeah, yeah, it would, <laughs> but I'm not. So, <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> I would, I would like to uh, take a break real quick and give a shout out to some people I do know in the chat. Let's not ignore the chat, shall we? Yep. You know, yep. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Pinoid News. Uh, is in the chat. What's up, Pinoid? And Adonis Paul, aka AP, is in the chat. What's up? Hello, everyone. Hey, uh, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the show. Um, and there's a bunch of other people that I, uh, Tiberius Kirk is in the chat and, uh, Ooh, Metal James Tiberius Essence. Kirk. I like you in Star, yes. Star Tide. Yeah. Yes. I, uh, I, I really appreciate, uh, what you've done with the enterprise. Yeah. Uh, cause it, <laughs> it started out as a car rental company and now look at it. It's a fucking spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's really a long way to go, man. Good on you. <laughs> my pop culture references are on point tonight. Ooh. Is my my question is about predictions, guys. All right. Now, I think this is my thoughts. I think uh, Biden takes the uh, DNC. Um, they they get him to run against Trump. Trump wins in 2020. And 2024, I'm putting my money on either Kamala Harris running and winning or the butt gay guy, and he wins and runs. And <clears throat> you guys, what do you think? Which which who, butt gay who guy? You Who's your picks? Who's the butt gay guy? Oh, but but a but a keg, but a keg. Oh, oh, the oh, unpronounceable yeah, but yeah, but one, but but a geek, but a juge, whatever. Yeah, I just call him the butt gay guy because he's his. La that's the only part of his name I could pronounce, and he's gay. So. Yeah, butt gig. Right. <laughs> he's got a butt gig. He's, he's a former. I'm, I'm not sophisticated. Form, former porn actor, butt gig. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, well. Um, your predictions are sound. Uh, personally, I think you're right about Joe Biden um, in 2020, and he's going to lose to Trump. And then uh, 2024, um, I'm I'm not going to put my money behind Kamala Harris. I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be a white hot burning sphere of pure terror. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of like you like cosmic entity so, uh, my God, of pain and run. suffering. <laughs> so, my God, you're you're going to run in 2024. Is that <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's saying? Because <laughs> like, right now in the DNC field, out of like 28 candidates, nobody fits that bill but you do. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking. Re I'm really looking forward to vote in 2024. Uh, to voting uh, for, um, you know, some some cosmic death god <laughs> um, that uh, is the pure embodiment of horror and madness. Uh, well, you know what we may need? We may need a third-party candidate. We may need a Lord Buckethead of the United States to run. That's what I think we need. Yeah. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I, uh, I I'm still going to go with the... Uh, 
the the uh, the eldritch elder god of the cosmos. But you go ahead, do Buckethead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he's an inter- inter- interplanetary space warlord. He sells his guns from planet Zoland, and uh, he's got some great economic things. So I, I say, Lord Buckethead, twenty twenty four, all the way. Either way, though. So are, are way, you if, really? If, do you really think they're going to be sane enough to go with Biden? Yes. Ooh, I you think have the high DNC, praise I, for the Democrats, don't you? Well, no, I think the DNC controls the uh, Democratic Party. That's why they have su- the super delegates. And I think those super delegates keep the left from going too far off the rail to where they are high now. High praise, man. Because they know that most <laughs> of America is centrist, so they want to bring them back into tow. So they want the, they want the left wing crazy shit ideas. But they this election, they got to bring them back to the center after this whole uh, Trump colluded with Russia and they lost flat on their fucking face. So they've got to pull it back now. I'm not uh, sure they will. I'm not sure. They're not pulling it back, though. <laughs> they're no, not pulling I'm, it back. I'm, I'm, good job. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we'll see. I guess. Well, that's because that, that's because you live in the land of cancer, undoomed. <laughs> oh, well. that, you live in you live in the belly of the beast, brother. You are brave. Yeah, brave. Well, that's that's the way it is. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not, not sure I'm they'll not gonna... be that rational. That they'll probably go for the worst of them or something. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that left butt cheek pocket is deep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, they are reaching all the way down. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so, what do you, so what do you think, Undoomed? Who, who's, uh, so what do you think about all that stuff, or, uh, Undoomed? I'm not sure they're going for, for Biden, but, you know, obviously he'd probably be, like, the the safest choice, but... I don't know, man. There's so many crazies out there, and there's so many crazy candidates, and those seem to go hand in hand. So I, I don't know. Uh, uh, I I uh, think that uh, uh, probably Warren has a good chance, and um, Kamala probably has. Uh, Kamala's I, I, not. Every time I say Kamala, I, I just think of, of uh, Battlestar Galactica. Anyone remember <laughs> that? <laughs> I don't know uh, if you Kamala- know. The, do you know the reference? I do I not because so, yeah. I that, that uh, is a, getting laid. That is a um, uh, that is a drug. <laughs> it's a it's a drug in Balasar Galactica. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm a nerd. Whatever. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I will admit it's a good name because to me, Kamala sounds like one of those fruity drinks with an umbrella in it you get in the Caribbean. Yeah. yeah well, but I mean, you know, I'm to me, it's just. The drug from Battlestar Galactica. I cannot unsee that because I'm a big fan <laughs> of the show. So, <laughs> right, I was out getting laid when that show. <laughs> I was out getting laid before <laughs> that show. So don't you worry about that, buddy boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say Magog Undoomed was doing both. He was watching the show and getting laid at the same time. So that's how Actually, that Undoomed is did. a true story. <laughs> <laughs> that that ended up being a true story. It is. Ask Miss Undoomed, for fuck's sake. <laughs> We're both huge fans of the show. Right. Um, no, I, I, I don't think Kamala stands a chance in 2020. I think it'll be Bernie or, or Biden. Uh, I just, but at this point, it's left, the left, the, the Democratic Party is so fucking insane. Yeah, man, it's like, I'm, it's, I'm more, I'm more on the f- level of like, who I know n- is not going to make it. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, <laughs> Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard isn't going to make it. Yeah, as, as yeah. she's, she's the one that I at least respect the most. And uh, I probably agree they, with that. Yeah. They fucking hate the moderates. She's not got a chance. Nah, snowball's chance. Yeah, she's help. not going to make it. She's too centrist. Yeah. Well, and the and the thing is too is I looked up. I saw the uh, post by Biden his town hall. So I went and looked it up and watched the whole thing. And then I went back to uh, good old uh, Google and I researched what was the central Democratic talking points. Like if you're a, a just a centrist Democrat, you know mm-hmm. what is the traditionally what is your talking points you use use for elections. And Biden hit all of those, and everybody else that's competing right now, including uh, you know, surprise, surprise, Bernie. Nobody ever, nobody else did. They all focused on reparations. That's not a normal thing. Um, yeah. Green New Deal. <laughs> that that was outside of the normal context of the Democratic talking points about climate change. Uh, yeah, I'll, just- I'll sure give you that Biden has a good chance. Um, and, and I don't think, uh, um, uh, 
Oh, oh he is gonna he is gonna creepy hug his way. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 fucking Bernie, <laughs> Bernie, there we, Bernie doesn't have a chance. I don't think Bernie has a chance. No, no. but right. Biden might. But I, I'm I'm not counting out the crazy still and and, and the the lore of going you know all crazy. Well, the good news is if it if it isn't Bernie Sanders, he's got he still has plenty of time to take a break from politics and invent the flux capacitor. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he sure looks the part. Well, and his job is made easier. He only has to eat 88 miles per hour. So there you go. And yeah. then he can and then he can hang out with a Parkinson's riddled teenager. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and the thing about Biden is I'm already starting to have I'm really hoping Biden takes the DNC nomination because I've already made videos where I've put in Biden doing the, the hand rubs on the women and it's to Barry Manilow music and I slowed the video down. Nice. So it's, you know, oh, yeah. When he's touching the kid and everything else, it's the creepiest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to get Yeah, hit you might for, get your YouTube channel. Yeah, you're going to get hit yeah, for child pornography. <laughs> Fucking worth it, Magog. Fucking worth it. <laughs> Here you go. Jesus. I, uh, I don't, I, I can't predict what's going to happen with the DNC, but I do think Trump see, sweeps 2020. I really yeah. do. I just don't see anybody that they have beaten him. The and it's because he well, left. I, to I think start. I think Biden could, but I'm not sure he's gonna get the job. No. Um, it, well, you know that's the other thing too. too is it's going to be hard to beat one. He's an incumbent. Trump is an incumbent. He's a mm -hmm. sitting president already, so he's got home court advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Even the left is starting to recognize that, yeah, the economy doing good is just kind of Trump. Yeah. And people, and when it comes down to it, your average Joe Blow American, when the economy's good, that fucking president gets reelected. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter what any of his other stances are. When, when you got a good, when you got a good paycheck coming in and there's jobs and there's gas prices are low and the economy seems to be stabilizing people get a little comfortable with the president who did that right all right well in the end statistics are certainly point. against him getting voted out so there's right. that oh, yeah well and I, I spotted a weird tism with some of your major left-wing uh youtube channels too i can put in trump 2020 in the comments nobody thumbs up it nobody comments nobody bashes me and these are some pretty far left you know places nobody says anything everybody just ignores it I put Biden, I put Biden 2020, mm -hmm. I get like 15 or 16 responses. I get thumbs down. I get thumbs up. They go nuts if you put Biden in there for some reason. And I'm not sure why. Well, that's probably because they haven't chosen which guy is going to represent them. So they're like, sure. you, you get all sorts of things, obviously, then because uh, people are going to be, no, it's going to be Bernie or no, mm -hmm. it's going to be Kamala. You know, it's, they're, they're not sure yet. Yeah, some of my more left-leaning YouTube friends, guys that I met at VidCon and drank beers with, and they're they're cool people. I don't agree with them politically, but they're cool people. Even they are just like, oh, Bernie's gonna do it. Like, <laughs> Calm your fucking nuts, man. Okay, it's not happening. No, you know? no Bernie's not happening. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, what, uh, the last election, or this election, what I would love to see, though, if I could just have my wish for just pure entertainment value would be Bernie versus Trump or AOC versus Trump. Well, that's not going to happen because that would be illegal. Well, I know, but I'd, I'd love to see it, though. I'm doomed. I'd love to see it. Well, maybe next time, but <laughs> it won't be Trump then, so whatever. I know. <laughs> right. I don't know how yeah, old is man. she. Will she be elig uh, eligible next time? Or no, uh, we, we, Yeah, she we, will be next time, but not this time. Right. We, do have to, we do have to do something I personally want to see happen is uh andrew yang is probably going to run for president multiple times in his life to try to try to win <laughs> right. i think as a conservative and a republican we should gather all of our conservative and republican power go out there on the internet and find some guy with the last name yin to run <laughs> <laughs> so, so we could have like a yin yang presidential <laughs> debate <laughs> <laughs> That'd be worth it. That'd be worth it. Just get some fucking it doesn't matter just so we could see that. Right. I don't even care if some white dude with blonde hair and blue eyes changes his last name to Yin. I want to see this shit happen. 
<laughs> make, make it so. <laughs> God, I'm an asshole. That's why we love you, man. I just yeah, would love you- that though. CNN splatters a big, a big fucking graphic up on the screen. It's like we are now down to the final two candidates. The yin yang debates begin. <laughs> oh, the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then people in Japan and China and shit should be watching. I was, I was about to say, <laughs> the fuck is going on in America? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, that 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 that. I think I've said as much as I can. I can't predict that far down. I don't know. Twenty twenty four. No, I can't. I, I'm sorry. I I've got to get through twenty twenty first. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I mean, we sw- we normally switch out every eight years anyway, so that's where I'm getting that from. I'm not just pulling this out of my butt. It's historically since I've been alive, this is what we've done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah years, that's, that's the statistical analysis of it. Yeah. So yes. that's that's the most likely outcome. Yeah. If somebody you're tell me one time, man. you're you're uh, you're you're really smart for noticing that. I'm like, nope, just been alive long enough and paid attention. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, that, I don't, that's the way it is. I mean, probably Jimmy Carter was the last one that got voted out before the second term, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no, Bush. Bush, Bush? Senior was sir. Yeah, oh, Bush, Bush Senior only did. Yeah, oh, yeah, Bush okay. Senior only did one term, and then Bill Clinton come in and swept oh, it. Oh, right, right. Okay, so Bush yep. Senior was the last one. Okay, didn't remember. Yeah, that. Bush Senior was the last single term president mm, that we've had so right, far. Right. Um. And I want to point out, too, that it's also been 115 years since we've had a president with a full beard. This is true. Yep. <laughs> this needs to happen. You're, you're vying for position. Yep. McGog 2024. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, it's been, it's been like 100 <laughs> years since we've had a president with facial hair. But a full beard? Man, it's been like 115 years, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> Who you're... was it? Benjamin Harris? was the last one with a full beard i don't know man. <laughs> it's like 1889 <laughs> like, well, well, the, well the, the thing is is that your normies want you clean clean swept you know so you look appropriate for the normies yeah you, gotta, you yeah. have that down yep no it was uh yeah william taft had a mustache probably a huge yes. one Oh, he had the handlebars, man. Yeah. He had the handlebars. No fucking joke. He looked like a Bond villain. Just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> See, I think what we should do is in 2024, we should put Undoomed up as a potential presidential candidate. Not not with Undoomed's permission, but just use the avatar and promote the avatar for president. <laughs> then that way, Undoomed doesn't have to do anything in real life, but the avatar does. See, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be as, that will work as well as the Sargon thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Well, at least you won't get covered in milkshakes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, I could live with that. Could just do some avatar shit. Mm. Might have... Problem is, when, when I win, what do I do then? I don't know, but that's that's Magog's problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I know exactly only one direction to drive a country. A nuclear war. And that, and that's into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 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 thinking a nuclear war. That'd be a really good place to go. We have to decrease the surplus population somehow. Yeah. <laughs> nuclear war, right? Why not? We haven't That's done that boring. in a while. It's 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 something we don't know too much about. Let's give it a try. Well, and you bring up a good point, Undoom, because we actually do need some Darwinism in our lives again to balance everybody out. So right, this there could you be go. a great equalizing factor. Yeah. Yeah. As, I, as long uh, as we are more equal than other countries, I'm fine with it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm uh I know this is like a line of jokes, but you guys seriously, like nothing terrifies me more than nuclear fallout. Really? That's kind of like the the least scary thing to me. Well, it's ever. it's because it's because women won't survive because they're the weak. 
ones. <laughs> no one will survive. <laughs> like, whatever, we'll be dead. You don't care when you're dead. And then I gotta, uh, then I gotta go. Uh, then I gotta go gay in a in a apocalyptic wasteland. That's not fun. Yeah, I guess that's the downside of living out in the middle of nowhere. Like I'll be dead. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping at least one or two like Ronda Rousey type bitches survive or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you, you'll be you'll be Johnson for some really bad wasteland bitch that's got three legs and four <laughs> arms, <laughs> six titties. <laughs> I don't even know where your vagina is, and she just raises one of her hands. You know, <laughs> she just raises one of her arms up, and there's this hairy. Oh, now I'm into hairy armpits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put fucking flour on her and find the wet spot. Oh, <laughs> this this show is so unprofessional. <laughs> That's what it. we aim for, All right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna burrow out your cornhole, bitch. Bend over. I don't care what hole it is. Yeah. I was gonna say on the on the, on the scale of truly terrifying things, though, Magog. I think uh, President AOC would be far more ter- terrorizing to me. I'd be far more scared of that than I would be actually nuclear holocaust. Of course. At least the holocaust will put me down. That's the just logic. Me, right. No, you don't you don't understand. If we elect AOC, we will have a nuclear holocaust because somebody will convince her the only way to change the to fix the climate is nukes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuz that's what they do in Star Trek. Whenever there's a yep. fucking problem in the atmosphere, they always fucking bomb it. I've right? seen that. <laughs> We've seen that fucking plenty of times in Star Trek. It's the <laughs> truth. Somebody's no, gonna no. convince somebody's gonna convince her that climate change needs terraform. Yeah. Right. I can see her say that from the White House. This is not nuclear holocaust, guys. This is terraforming. Yeah. Totally <laughs> different. Totally it's totally different. Has anybody ever seen Total Recall? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It worked in Total Recall, and it worked for Governor it Schwarzenegger, for, so it'll work it for us. It worked for Captain Janeway, all right? Captain <laughs> Janeway. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The Reverend Jim Jones is cracking up today on the show. We're, we, we must be highly entertaining tonight, Undoomed. What? <laughs> Nothing. Your hair is nice. Yeah, right. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> My hair... <laughs> What hair? <laughs> the hair on your balls. <laughs> uh, you're not authorized to know that. Well, I'm a gog. If you if you want me to talk like a Southern Baptist preacher, I can to the audience and inspire them to send them doom some money. Send them doom some money so you can cleanse your soul. <laughs> you sound like racist. that guy in Independence Day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't be... <laughs> Remember that guy? Uh, are we talking to? Wait, no. I was thinking of the chick with the head that blows up. Um, no, no. It was like in Independence Day. They're like Will Smith's buddy, and he's his aircraft yeah. buddy. He, he's he's flying. Out the... He's always doing the, yeah. the Southern accent. Like, uh, why like, we here? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> On this day of days, <laughs> yeah, when God will not know. <laughs> <laughs> Testify, preacher. Or when the, I loved it when they were in the locker room and he's got that ring out and that one guy walks in and he's like, whoa, don't know, don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fucking that. perfect. That's uh, yet another movie that when it came out, nobody gave a shit that the main actors and the actress was black. Like, uh-huh. Of course. Now now it's got to, like, mean something. Yeah, like, now it's, it's got to be yeah. fucking quote, quotas and shit. You know, it's got to be that can, can much we, can, percent black people. Oh, yeah. Let me I, now tell you why I think Batwoman TV show is going to fail utterly. <laughs> we all know that. Have you seen that fucking trailer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus yeah, was like, Christ. Of course we've seen that. That, that was uh, the one where she's like, oh, it's got to be, I'm not going to let some man take credit for my work. And she's like, oh, you just stole the fucking bat suit and yeah. the bat cave and the Batmobile. Yep. And- <laughs> his whole, his emblem, his fucking tech, his money. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't take credit for a man's work, you fucking bitch. 
Now I will, I will, I will say oh. this: good on them for convincing Justin Bieber to play Batwoman. Um, <laughs> so that's the, a the, brave the, choice. That it's is a brave that choice. Is a very brave choice. Uh, <laughs> We'll see the, maybe. <laughs> the, <laughs> no, no, the, the streets of Gotham will run red with blood once a month. Yep, that it's is true. true. <laughs> that is a very a accurate statement. You cannot we'll see, and, deny and this. Pointed, <laughs> and I'm pointing this out to because I'm old, so but I've uh, I've pointed this out to a lot of people that the like back when you guys were talking about the uh um, Independence Day movie, um, no one gave a shit it was Will Smith. You know what I mean? The thing is, is if you let these things naturally matriculate in society, mm -hmm. you can move people into black hero positions and black heroine positions and all this stuff without the whole diversity quota thing. Right. But when you do the whole diversity quota thing, you piss people like me off because I'm like, what the fuck is this stupid shit? You know what I mean? If you, yeah, if and you, then and then less people yeah, there, actually watch the there movies was and no it hurts problem. the black community. There was no problem. <laughs> You know, there wasn't a problem. There was nothing to fix. It was mm. working. We had more black people getting into film all the time, and people were selected for their merit. Mm -hmm. And now it's, you know, I <laughs> I don't yep. know if if this guy was selected for his merit or if he was just quote going in for quotas. No one knows anymore. It's it's weird. And hold on. I I'm just going to I got a super chat from the amazing critter man saying praise Jeebus. Jeebus. Yep. Praise Jeebus. <laughs> you know, all the people living in the air, you know, in the area where Jesus, you know, like Galilee and all that stuff was all like under Roman control, but it was still like a, you know, kind of like a Middle Eastern, you know, cultures and stuff mixed with Roman culture. So Roman names were very predominant. And mm -hmm. I learned like what, like, well, I think Jesus Christ just sounded good, but I, I think his last name was really something like Christocles. Yeah, I don't know why that came like, into my head. Well, well, of course it was. It wasn't Christ. That's that's uh, an English term. <laughs> I, I think it was probably Christus. Christos. Yeah. I left my with, with a U at, at the end. Everything ends with a U. U. Let me, let me, yeah. I, I, and he had tacos because his name was Jesus. His yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hey, sold burritos. Hey, <laughs> hey, Vato Loco. Would you like yeah, to buy he, a new religion? Like, what if that guy didn't even want to be a prophet? He just kind of like got talked into it by some buddies. It was like a drunk dare. <laughs> oh shit! Like, like, like he's running his falafel stand, and then his buddies come up, and they're like, "Dude, got a great idea. The Romans are coming. Why don't we play a prank on them?" Yeah. Next, <laughs> next, next clip. He's being fucking crucified. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone too far. It's gone way too far. <laughs> I blame you, Ben Hur. I blame was, you. This was a bad idea. <laughs> you got to go to the horse races, and I got crucified. See, and that's and that's why I didn't get about the Life of Brian movie, the one that came out for Monty Python. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When I look back at that time, because that came out before I was born. But the thing was, the weird thing for me was, is that they the the Catholic Church just went ape shit on uh, those guys on Monty Python about that at the time, and I'm like, it's not even about Christ, right? The, there's a lot the more to Catholic dogma than just Christ. Okay. Yeah, I know, but still, it was. It yeah, was well, it's our, like, yeah, it's like, oh, we we think this is about us. And yeah, it, obviously, it's, it, it kind of is, but you know. Yeah, it's it's about the ridiculousness of the papacy, and um, that's yeah. what they got offended uh, offended about. But it was yeah. still well, funny as it, fuck. It works but a lot better if you're just not butt hurt. So just stop it. Yeah. Well, and they gave us biggest dickest though. I mean, how do you? They gave the world biggest dickus. Mm -hmm. You, you got to right. give them an award for that. <laughs> I'm sure they got an award for that. I hope no. they did. They must have. And and a lot of those actors and comedians that are still alive to this day, like John Cleese, is seeing the censorship unfold in the UK and is probably just like, oh, dear God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's. You know? I don't think he's none too fun of that. No, a lot of people aren't. I mean, look and, how outspoken Ricky Gervais is. Yeah, and and what's um what's his name? Uh, Stephen Fry. Oh yeah, he did the OK symbol recently, right? For like mental health, and he was like, "Let me know if you're OK." Like that's what he was doing, and people were like, "You better be careful, Stephen Fry. You're going to be called a white supremacist." <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Better be careful. Jesus. Well, I saw, I saw a uh, interview with John Cleese, and he even said that there is no way in hell they would ever get funded, get the money for, or get the the uh, private funding support for doing anything they did in Monty Python nowadays that they did back then. There's no way. Well, it is truly the death of comedy. Yeah, mm-hmm. they they wouldn't. No, that that'll never happen again. Um, those days are over until the next great war. Well, actually, yeah. you could say all that shit is just switched to YouTube, but. No, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I'm I'm sure they they could do it on television, but you sure as hell couldn't do it on YouTube. But they're not going to do it on television. No, and a lot of streaming services are going to replace, in my opinion, cable, like television and stuff. Right. But And so we're starting to see individual streaming service platforms pop up where, like, you know the DC Universe on- online where you can watch, like, Doom Patrol and Teen Titan live action shows? Like, they want, like, seven ninety nine a month for that shit, and it's filled with vapid fucking progressive bullshit like every single one of them shows and they're just they're now coming out with swamp thing and i'm like what is he like a transgender like what are they going to do with swamp thing like i don't like, <laughs> i don't even know now like is it gonna be like a transgender bi queer really fucking moist, swamp monster really moist really moist <laughs> have you, you guys know? seen uh, have you guys seen brightburn no i haven't seen no. it it's it's basically like uh the Superman movie when he's growing up, but he's psychotic. Yeah, it's like what happens if Superman lands on planet Earth and uh, goes bad. Mm-hmm. So it's and basically. So I know the premise. So it's Hancock. No, I'm talking bad, bad as an evil. Hancock was just like an asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, but I prefer Hancock then because I don't really care about the bad guy. I want the asshole. But, like, the diverse <laughs> thing, like, I, I recently watched, because it was free on Amazon Prime, I recently watched the Blade movies. And I remember when Blade came out, I was mm-hmm. a teenager. Mm-hmm. I, did, I didn't once think, oh, my God, it's a black guy. No. Yeah. Like, I didn't, and I not didn't once either. in the movie, not once in the movie did they go, look at this, like, I'm a powerful black vampire man. Like, they no. didn't have to, like, hit you in the face because with a brick th- with Because back it. then, we were just humans. Yeah. But now I mean, we're, we're not humans anymore. We're just white humans and black humans and all this fucking bullshit. But back then we were actually striving towards getting rid of all that shit and just being human. Which yep. is a something I really miss. Like, yep. why can't we just be fucking humans? Because it's... Uh, I know why. I know why I'm doomed. Okay. Tell me um, why. Because it's... It's it's uh, actually not about race. It's not about virtue. It's not about even politics. It's about money. Because the groups that are basically saying, um, you're suppressed, let me help you um, get funds from either the public or they get it from private funders. So yeah. basically, if you solve racism, all these people are out of a job. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're snake oil sales. Right. I, I mean, I, snake oil. Sure. But I mean, why do we let that happen? Why did we let that happen? That's because well, they prey on people that didn't make it, and it, they want to blame somebody. I, I feel we were we were we were very close, you know, when I grew up. Uh, mm-hmm. It was, you know, nobody fucking cared about your race, and everyone had friends of all fucking ethnic origins and all that. It wasn't a big thing, and then it started creeping back in. Like, no, you, you can't be friends yep. with with that because you know the, those are. Those are other guys. They're they're not. We can't mix with those. That that was not a thing when I was a kid. Yep. Yeah. yeah that happens. Well, and, that, and that's, it seems that's, like that's, we regressed. Yeah, and one yeah. that and I've spoken the same thing, and I've even made the argument on other live streams that I honestly think that um, the funding of these groups that actually quote unquote prevent racism, which they don't, they promote it. Yeah, they if do. If all you're ever thinking about is racism, then guess what? You see racism everywhere. That's your entire existence. Yeah, then you are a racist. If you see right. race in everything, then you are a racist. That's just kind well, of it. It just follows. And I, I well, think the fun. I think the funding of those groups really gives the uh, when they say, "Well, the rise of you know the white supremacy and all this shit." I'm like, if anything's funding or not funding, but 
but anything's giving rise to these groups, it's the guys that are quote unquote fighting against it. You get rid of them. I guarantee you the other problem dies out in the right. woods alone, right. screaming at a tree. Right. So <laughs> it makes, it makes you think though, like why aren't we focused on things that make people happy instead of sad? It's like, <clears throat> Why promote? Why promote this idea because of racism can't, you, everywhere? You, you so can't that you can grab see power. racism you everywhere. You can't grab power by yeah. making people happy. You have to make them scared. Mm-hmm. Sure, of course. Yeah, that's this is, this that's is a why big I point. Made, this is why I, I was leading into a joke, but you guys interrupted me. And, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You know, it was going to be this great boob joke where everybody Ooh, should just see boobs, boobs everywhere, but. I'm not even going to attempt it now. You know, it's not even going to be funny now because I've announced. You ruined it. You know, sometimes it takes a while to set up my jokes and you don't give me time. We're such assholes. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, dude. I don't even know why I'm your friend. (laughs) Rage quit. (laughs) Rage quit. Let's see what what else what else is new in the world this week? Uh, yeah, what everybody, happened? Every, Let's have everybody some news. Was, every, everybody was uh, pretty much pissed off for about three days straight about the ending of Game of Thrones. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I I didn't get into that series. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was a ultimate disappointment. Yeah, every really I mean, it's kind of like Star Wars, isn't it? Like everyone loves it, everyone loves. Oh, I hate it now. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone just went from total love to total hate. Yeah, I, the- I love the answer to like one of the Game of Thrones like actors was on on Twitter and was all like, for everybody who's pissed off how the show ended and everything, like ease off. This is what was supposed to happen and all this and that. And like people need to just shut up. And then I'm like somebody like right directly underneath it was like, I don't need to hear that from somebody who doesn't have a job. Because <laughs> the show's over, you know? Like, that was such a bird, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, was that the guy from the show? No, there was just like some random YouTube. Yeah, it was like an actual actor from the show was saying that. And some right, random right. Twitter account was like, get <laughs> a job, you, you bum. fucking bum. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> No. Get a job, you bu- bu- bum bum. <laughs> Yo, and maybe you can explain this to me, Undoomed, because you kind of know folks in these circles. What the hell happened with Star Wars? Because you had a an entire like 30, 40 books, I think, written about Star Wars after the last movie, and they just totally went somewhere else with it. I just I couldn't understand that. Before what do you mean? Undoomed you... answers that question. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to give my take, and then I'll let Undoomed explain it in more detail. But what really happened, in my opinion, is Mickey Mouse dropped his pants, pulled out his big fat mouse cock, and just right up George Lucas's ass. <laughs> you go ahead, Undoomed. No, I, I want to hear the question again, because I wasn't really clear on what you were asking. Uh, okay. Um, the Well, there's, there's fan fictions written of the Star Wars books. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the thing is, is that they... they basically own them anyway. Right. Um, and the, it takes place after the last movie mm-hmm. that was, uh, let me see. It wasn't, it was before all the episode one, two, three bullshit came out. So when I say the last movie, I think I'm talking about episode six. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But it took place after that and it had the kids in there. It had a great storyline worked out. It had all these things. All Hollywood had to do was pick up a book. Basically they pretty much already owned the rights. They could just ran with it mm-hmm. and they totally want to, completely insane direction which for me if i'm a if i'm like if i'm a business guy if i'm not a fan enough if i put myself in the business position of making enough a movie mm-hmm. if i've already got a dedicated fan base and these hardcore fans already know about these books and i know what that's what they're probably wanting to see right. then i'm just gonna go ahead and make that even though it's cheap and easy it's guaranteed money right so you're talking about the expanded universe right right well, I mean, I, I would agree with you. That is that is probably the stupidest um, decision they ever made because they had the chance to sort of become Marvel where there was this all, all this lore, there was all these books and comic books and games and all this shit to draw inspiration from. And then you could just uh, have script writers take that stuff and make it into a movie. And, of course, they can change stuff around like they do in Marvel movies. They're not exactly the same as comic books. They change stuff around, but they 
people are still, they still want to see it because people had heard about the Infinity War and all that bullshit before the movie came out, right? That was mm-hmm. in comic books. People had heard about Thanos and and, and uh, fucking Iron Man before that movie even came out, right? That that was stuff that they could draw on and make movies about, and fans would they it would have a, a pre built fan base, and and uh, Disney just said fuck it for some reason, but but obviously that is Kathleen Kennedy um, that that took that decision, and she is a Stupid, stupid woman. I think all the, uh, I think all the executives at Disney are just meat with eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think that uh, they figured that Kathleen Kennedy would be their Kevin Feige uh, for for Star Wars, but she's nowhere near as smart as he is. Oh man, Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, I mean. There's you know all those I mean? arguments. I've seen. I've seen all the mm-hmm. midnight edges and all that stuff. But at the, at the end of the day, if she wasn't going to make Vag Wars, I wasn't interested in what she had to fucking say. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like they're telling me I can't talk about abortion because I don't have a vagina. Well, you can't talk about Star Wars because <laughs> you ain't got a lightsaber, bitch. There you go. You ain't got any saber. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean that, that was a stupid, stupid business decision because you had the entire world there with pre-built fan base and everything, and you mm. just f- threw it in the fucking drain. What's crazy is they hand one of the most beloved sci-fi uh, movie franchises over to a director who had like three movies under his belt. Yeah, and really, and one, just, of, and one real, of them, really, and w- really <laughs> just one. The other ones were just kind of fucking home movies. So he had one. Well, Brick, movie. Brick was a good movie. I really enjoyed Brick with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That was a, it was an indie, indie film, but it was really good. And then Looper came out and was a pretty, pretty big success, I guess, as far as like time travel movies go. People <laughs> liked it, but it, I was, it I did saw, not give it. That is that doesn't give you the credentials to no. take over Star Wars. I saw it and I was like, eh, all right, because you know I had had nothing to do and I, I wasn't. You know, I didn't get sick when I was watching it. It was. All I right. liked. I I like Looper because it predicted the future. Because uh, by now, I've actually gone back and shot my younger self for watching Looper. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. I, I like well, Looper just for the premise of what the hell do you do in that situation? If you eventually know you got to go back and kill yourself, and this whole thing is meaningless of who you wiped out and how much money you made. Ultimately, what do you do at that point? You know? I, I just have to remind everyone who's listening that you can join the, the green room in um, on Discord if you want to join in the conversation. So there's that. Yeah, because yes. I'm Zoom's getting tired of me being on his goddamn stream, so hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just want to make sure people know that because obviously we talked about this before, but that was probably an hour ago. Go ahead. Yes. Uh no, I just I just really feel like Ryan Johnson is I the main think one he that was like a, he, I think he was like a mediocre director. I'm not giving his him credit for for Looper. I don't know how much he was involved with it, but judging from the fact that he was like a n- really new director, I'm sure he wasn't involved with it much at all except for showing up on set and telling the actors well, uh, what to do. Right, but at the same time, like Ryan Johnson was literally handed creative control of those movies. I mean, he wrote the scripts and directed and everything. And his biggest problem was he wanted to create a story that flipped. Like everything had to be like, I'm going to flip it on its head because he didn't want people predicting how the movie was going to go. So everything about The Last Jedi was just like, you thought this was going to happen? Well, nope. We're going to burn down the old tree with all the fucking ancient Jedi writings inside of it. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's so oh, you, you, stupid. you thought you thought the ghost of Yoda would just show up and give give Luke Skywalker some much needed advice uh, advice in his time of need? Nope, he's gonna show up and make fun of Luke and blow a fucking tree up with his magic. <laughs> ah! 
flipped it on you. Yeah, and and now apparently they have to retcon everything because obviously you've seen oh. the new posters and obviously Luke is still alive somehow. So I guess yep. we're just going to have uh, that last movie. It, did, it didn't even count, I guess. I'm not sure Good what point. happened. And the, and the sad part is with the, the, fan, the fan books, if I remember correctly, I had a friend that was really into this and told me all about the fan books, and the storyline sounded amazing. Which oh, was, yeah. Ray was Fucking Grand the, Admiral Thrawn and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and apparently, the part that really caught my attention that made me really happy that they were going to redo the movies or make you know new ones was that Ray, apparently there was the story of the twins um, in the books, and apparently that just fucking made me go, holy shit, because Kylo Ren and Ray were, apparently those characters were supposed to be the twins. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think Ray had a different name, but and the thing with Kylo Ren was he was jealous of his sister because his sister was basically better than, and this is technically impossible, but was tech was better um, with lightsabers than even Luke Skywalker, who was the most powerful guy in the entire universe. And Kylo Ren was supposed to be a little bit more powerful than her in the Force, but not really. But his jealousy led to the dark side. And I was like, that's a great human conflict story of inner family, you know what I mean? Struggle and shit like that. And this is what we got. <laughs> yeah, God, certainly sure. better than what we got. Like, yeah, yep. nothing. I mean, yeah, I, but I will say that movie was a surprise. I yeah. always thought that Luke Skywalker was just like anybody else and drank his milk from the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead that he was got. So cringe. He's got. But blue, I was blue, wrong. <laughs> blue cum all over his face, dripping down yeah, his like, beard. That's nice. That's a nice image to remember Luke by, you yep, fucking a, faggot. God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes I'm just like, I, wa- I like halfway through that movie, I was like, Ryan Johnson needs to be tool shedded. Yep. <laughs> like, he just needs to be dragged out to the tool shed and get an ass whooping now and again. Yeah. What are you Jesus, doing, what were they man? thinking? But that just proves, you, too, in you're, Hollywood, you're especially in, in Disney. You're degrading Luke Skywalker. But that just goes to show you the politics of like Hollywood and a big company like Disney. It's not about your talent; it's about who you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and that's you know? the thing. And in, in, in the books, another thing I was I heard from my friend that I really wanted to see was apparently at one point Luke Skywalker is trying to get the uh, Imperial fleet or whatever they're called off their ass on the sh- on the ships he's, he's on. He actually takes the moon, grabs a moon, and slams it into the and slams it into the ship that's chasing him. So he uses the force to move a moon. I'm going, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> that would have been the, awesome. You use the force to move a moon? Mm-hmm. Then I'd just be like, okay. Well, we just picked a fight with God. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, you, know. you picked a fight with uh, Captain Marvel. That's what you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Thanos did that. It took an <laughs> infinity stone. All, 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 all Luke Skywalker has to do is wink one out and then think really hard about the moon. Yep. Well, I'm going to take a piss, so there you go. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and my God, they even glanced over the whole uh, uh, the social dynamics. In, yes, I'm a nerd. Of uh, bringing back uh, how um, fucking uh, Luke brought back the uh, Jedis can get married. Because he thought that that's what caused his father to go dark side and kill everyone, was the fact that he couldn't marry a wife. You know what I mean? That whole well, secret part. He might have had a chance if she hadn't have just given up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just, well, in, in episodes one through three, I remember leaving the theater scratching my head like, the fuck was that? <laughs> like after after I watched the love scenes between the two. I wanted to buy George Lucas a cat. <laughs> I just felt a need to just give him a cat and be like, you lonely man. Mm-hmm. This is not like how normal people fall in love. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is some fucking daytime soap opera shit. Right. <laughs> I'm fucking, I was expecting Rodrigo to show up and be like, that he's my woman. You right. Know? Well, the, only thing I could think, the only thing I could think, my guy, through the love scenes, right, was she's there for the money. She's got to be there for this guy for the money. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker had a gold robot hand at the end when they were getting married. You know he's loaded. Well, you, either that or he's got a twelve-inch, you know, he's got a twelve-inch penis rocking in his pants. Is, and if something's going on, he's rocking something. 
Mm. But, you know, and I didn't like that her character, like, just, like, gave up on life and went and started dating Thor. Like, that is just a love triangle that I didn't want to see. Like, it didn't need to happen. No. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Undoom's got two bucks from the engage engage. Let, let him read them. He likes oh, okay, to read them. Okay. He likes to read them. Right, cool. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll let's, get off his toes. Let's say hi. Like Ariel uh, Wayne Singer is in the chat. Ariel, what's up? And Assassin of the Grey's in the chat. Gray Summers is in the chat. Half of these people are like my fans. Oh, rock on. Um, so you know that just shows goes to show you how popular I am. I mean. I know that Undoom's last stream with Sargon had a thousand viewers live, but like, <laughs> I know that there's at least a thousand people out there that are watching in spirit when I stream. Right. It, so it, it, it's, it's 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 okay, my God. You're you'll get your chubby chasers um, after a while. Um, don't worry. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> what, I'm what are you guys I'm, talking I'm, about? Nothing. Your hair is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have hair, so obviously you're lying. But oh my uh, God, stop looking at his balls. I'm, I'm seeing, <laughs> I, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing a super chat. Uh, the engaged fuse says, "Excuse me, I'm gay and never had blue jizz on my face." Yes, that is true. Uh, we probably used the wrong slur. We we weren't actually talking about homosexuals. We we're talking about idiots, and uh, we apologize for using that uh, yes, particular yes, word uh, because we know you guys would never have blue jizz on your face. That's just something that that's just something that uh, Ryan Johnson would come up with. I don't know his you, weird <laughs> fantasies. He's he's got to be some sort of weirdo, you know. Do you all think the 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 giant six tittied alien sea otters? were like gathering on that beach because they knew Luke would come walking around and be like, oh, here's the guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's just, this uh, is what I told you about, man. Spread, He's got magic his, hands. Just spread your legs, man. You know. He's got <laughs> magic hands. Oh, yeah. Mm, it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh. fucking Luke's, Luke's profiles on Alien Grinder. Mm. Yeah, the, the only way that scene could have got weirder, guys, is if the cow had tentacles. That was the only way that got no, weirder. <laughs> it would have got weirder if the cow just looked at the fucking camera and was like, but I swiped left. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole, yeah, and but, I don't you know, care. But don't you think the left-wingers would uh, disagree with that? I don't. I stopped guessing what the left wingers think. I about. just figured that they'd have a petition, you know, that swipe like left when my, is swipe when, left is good. Actually, like, actually, no. I think I think undoomed. I think you got a point there. I think the uh, leftists would have loved the fact that there's uh, milk because it was blue and it represents feminism. There you go. I think he's talking about because you've left. seen the tampon commercials where <laughs> blood is blue. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I, <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> My brain hurts. Oh man. Did we make blue milk come out of your nose? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Magog, no matter what Poe told you, that's not milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, the uh you know the weird I, I think they were trying to appeal to the Japanese on that one. They're like weird hentai monster in Luke Skywalker. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Well, and, I, and I don't I don't understand for for people that grew up with the first three movies, I, I can't fathom what in the hell was the whole, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go I'm going to go astrally project myself and trick people. And I'm like, the fuck was that? And then disappear. I'm like, the least they could do is have actually have Luke fight. Right. And yeah. you know, Kylo Ren. What was the point? Oh. I don't, I don't yeah, understand that either. Because Obi-Wan, when you think about it, Obi-Wan disappeared when he got hit with the lightsaber. Mm -hmm. um, Yoda did it when he just got old enough and died. You know what I mean? Yeah. He just died. That's just, just died. Luke. Yeah. I was kind of like, 
If he had that fucking power to pro astrally project himself across the universe, you'd think he'd check in on his sister. Right. You know, say hi to Han now and again, like fucking sneak into the women's showers. Mm -hmm. You know, what are they yeah, going to do? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was just pointless. What, what the hell is he? If if you have to have your your hero die, then it has to be like fucking taking a bullet or something. What the hell is that? I'm just sitting here on my little stone, and I'm just gonna f fall into oblivion and dissolve. What? Well, I I did myself the favor, guys, of never watching any of these three movies after uh, episode one through three. I did myself the favor of not watching any of those movies. In the theater, I watched them pirated off of uh, other uh, other channels on the dark web. So I didn't spend a dime to watch them, and I feel good about that. They're really good about that. One, uh, two, three. Just... You mean Phantom Menace and that shit? Yeah, no, well, yeah. The episode one through three when he was a kid, right? And right. all that growing up, right? Okay, yeah, well, and that's well, ancient want... history now. Actually, yeah, if you think about it, him disappearing at the end makes sense because he had to. Uh... I mean, he had to get off of that island and go uh, make a cameo in Nightfall. So <laughs> he was so ashamed, he just dissolved into the background. <laughs> the movie was so shit. He was like, "Fucking, I'm out." No, he, he actually, he actually didn't die. He was so ashamed, he developed fucking refractive skills in his body so he could just not be seen. <laughs> He fucking, he fucking borrowed predator technology. Yeah, yeah. He developed them spontaneously in his how biology. Good, how good is Star Wars would be if predators were in it? Oh, my <laughs> God. That was awesome. Well, see, that's another thing that's in the books that they didn't include. Apparently, there's an entire race of uh, civilizations out there beyond the Outer Rim or whatever. And every time I say that, I, I think we're talking about an anuses. But the uh, <laughs> I don't know why. But the thing is, is that either. apparently they use they use biology as their technology. I mean, how cool would that storyline been? Why why couldn't they just you use mean that? Farscape? Well, yeah, the Star Wars the, in the books though they did the same thing. Okay, they didn't use the they didn't use tech, and they I think they were force users, but they could force biology to take on its own thing. Right, that's that a very very like. Early two thousands, late nineties kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Every fucking series had something like that. Even Voyager had like the neural neural gel packs. Everything had to be oh, like yeah. everything had to be something with biology because yeah, the brain is the most powerful computer in the world. Except it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you say it, it sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, like, yeah, I know that the brain is not the most powerful computer in the world. When, <laughs> deep, when deep Blue could kick my ass with checkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let alone chess. But that, that it was, was probably like, that, that when, was when that super thing. genius, that was when that super thing. genius, like, like, when that super genius finally beat Deep Blue, was Deep Blue like, okay, how about Monopoly? Like, <laughs> 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 like, who's well, up for a game of risk? We don't want you, a computer, playing the game of world domination. Sorry. And, that, and that's another controversial theory I've got in my um, in my head. I think the uh, best thing on the planet is if we had an AI that was uh, smart enough to um, turn itself if it, off. If we had an AI that was well, if we had an AI that was sentient, right? That you could learn it basically you could learn everything in a week that we could learn in the next twenty thousand years of evolutions if we combined all the geniuses in our planet together you know for humans so if it's that smart i think that something that an ai sentient intelligence that actually ruled over humanity and guided it along um would actually be way better than if it didn't and i don't see why an, a sentient intelligence would wipe us out it we make much better tools for it you know yeah but there's I many arguments I, I, there there's so many arguments against that because i don't want to be a tool <laughs> right i don't i don't give a shit and why does every why does everybody assume the first artificial intelligence is going to be super smart we could get like an aoc level oh shit. yeah artificial <laughs> intelligence you, you could be creating hitler and you didn't even know it this is true this is true 
Like, can you imagine cracking that fucking machine on and it wakes up and it's all like, hello, I am, you know, Sarah. I really <laughs> don't like cauliflower. <laughs> kill it. Kill it with yeah. fire. Get the yucca. Cauliflower is racist. Click. Off. <laughs> <laughs> the scientist just standing there with a clipboard and goes, you know, cauliflower is colonization. We should plant yucca. And he just looks at the clipboard and goes, try, try unplugging it and plugging it back in. <laughs> Have you turned? Have you tried turning your AI off and on again? <laughs> speaking, speaking of AI, interesting thing happened to me on a, on a, on a, on, on, on a real life personal level. Um, Suddenlink, my internet company, decided to send me a free gift for being such a dedicated customer and upgrading to their hot, you know higher speed internet they okay. sent me a they sent me a google home mini okay so they want to they they spy on you yeah so i'm told it's like alexa but for google yeah it's a big, big brother microphone they Ooh. they literally were like how lazy are you that you have to send somebody a wiretap and be like install it yourself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the least they could do is get like a guy to pretend he's my plumber when I'm out of town and break into my apartment and you know fucking yeah. plant the bugs. Haven't these guys seen Enemy of the State? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, and really, honestly, on that point, if they're just going to start doing that, I wouldn't even mind if the guy should be like, "I'm a plumber. I'm here to install the wire." I'll be like, "You're terrible, but I appreciate the effort. Go right ahead." <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> This should be fun. It's gonna. Right. The NSA is gonna have entire gigs of data uh, of sound files of me whacking it. Yeah. <laughs> End, <laughs> endless, gonna, endless hours. <laughs> I'm just. I'm only gonna turn on the mic when Magog show is on, and that's it. It's just yeah. nothing but Magog show is pulling through it. <laughs> just, just NSA is NSA is fucking. <laughs> that's forty beats per minute. This man is a genius. <laughs> Yeah, God, don't even get me started. I jerk off so much in the shower, I'm surprised a baby hasn't crawled out the drain. It will. <laughs> oh, Give, it Give it time. Give it time. Oh, fucking yeah, time. we have some sort of new genesis out of that shower. You're right. I just, I don't, I don't get it, though. Like, do people really use these things? You really want a device like this in your home going, what would you like to listen to today? I will control your lights. I will mm. fucking answer your questions. Meanwhile, it's like collecting data on you. And like, yeah, they even the said like Alexa, Alexa now can recognize when there's raised voices and then try it. Like if you're arguing with your wife and then try to like give you couples counseling. Yeah, that's what, what? we need from a fucking box. Man, if I'm arguing with my woman and all of a sudden a box kicks in and be like, <laughs> I'm sensing, I'm sensing tension in the room. Would you all like to sit down and talk calmly with me? Shut up, you little dildo. I'm not asking you. <laughs> you are fined 100 credits <laughs> for violating the speech code. <laughs> you are fined one credit for breaking the morality law. Yeah, whatever it <laughs> verbal, was. The verbal morality code. Demolition man, whatever they said. The, yeah, the, yeah. the verbal morality code. <laughs> hey, fuck it out. <laughs> you know what the best lesson to be learned from that movie is like the bad guy in it is dr cocteau who designed their fucking right whole society right right but at the end he was willing to unleash you know the fucking villain simon played by wesley snipes mm -hmm. to tear down the re what what small remnant of rebellion in that society existed to once again rebuild the the society as a perfect pearl you know he had that whole speech like you know we will have the order of an ant colony and the and the mm. and the the perfection of a pearl right and it's like that just goes to prove to you like if you really think about it people who want a society like a utopian perfect society like that it's never perfect enough well, we all know that. And they will always try to burn it down and rebuild it again, thinking that it'll be better. Well, see, this is, this is why I argue yeah. against uh, ideologues or uh, anybody that 
believes in the utopian society or one idea fits all is because we're humans. You're, you're taking an imperfect thing, humans in this instance, and you're saying, I have this perfect idea and it'll work. Well, it'll work with simulations and it'll work with, you know, computer programs, but anything with free will or anything that's just messy and likes to break shit like a human, it won't work. We'll fuck it up. We'll always fuck it up. Of course, True. but the thing is, we're not here to serve society. Society is here to serve us. Right. That's kind of the basic thing. You're thinking too much like an individual, Undoomed. Stop it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Why don't you uh, join... just spread your legs there, buddy boy? Join <laughs> us. Join us. <laughs> Weeba Wabu, you're one of us. Weeba Wabu, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of us, one of us. <laughs> Google gobble, Google gobble. <laughs> I officially hate all the things. <laughs> all the things. No, but uh, obviously that that's probably um, what they're doing right now. They they want to let things loose that will threaten people that they can swoop in and. Take care of save them from yeah yeah so they're actually when, you, when you've pretty much gotten rid of like all the problems in a society i mean outside the the minor outliers you know you're always going to have a certain level of like murder and other terrible atrocities happen you know sure but, but th those are statistical things that, that's right, always going right. to happen it doesn't matter how we evolve we but get. for the most part the the 95 percent of the fucking population is perfectly safe and yeah and few, that's the thing i mean have you, you read know. like steven pinker's um uh, uh, uh report on that like there has never no. ever been a more peaceful time ever in human evolution where yep. everything is getting better every fucking year, and it sounds like we're just going straight to hell when you look at the media, but everything's going is, is getting better every fucking year, without fucking exception. And they're trying to make it out like we're going straight to hell. Yep, the devil is everywhere. White supremacy is back, and yeah. Nazis are marching in the streets. And, 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 and everything is just so peaceful compared to what it's been like and they're like oh fucking dare you know there are threats everywhere and blah 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 and like no no this is this is more peaceful than it was last year and the year before that and all be the years before that through the dawn of time all right what yep. are you Every fucking single doing you're just ruling with fear yeah, every single person in this country could live in a mini mansion and have a guaranteed job and guaranteed school and education for their kids and pretty much have everything handed to them on a silver platter because we have, like, robots serving us. <coughs> and there will still be a motherfucker out there be like, it's all going to crumble down here soon. We're all, oh, my God, we're under attack. The Nazis are here. Mm hmm well, it's it's a undoomed. I don't know if you know who this was, but uh, who's the Canadian psychologist that a lot of people like now? He's big on YouTube. I can't remember his name. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, yeah, that guy. There was a guy he was talking about though that wrote a book, and it, he was also a he was also a psychologist, and he wrote about um, how humans, if humans, back to the mansion analogy, when humans have nothing to do and everything's taking care care of them for them, apparently they degenerate. Mm -hmm. they oh have, yeah. Uh, that they have no, uh, uh, what is it, purpose. Mm -hmm. Purpose, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that to a certain level. Now, does yeah. that mean we have to also go all the way back to living, like, in medieval times no. in a feudal no. system? Well, and no, no, no. There's no. peasants and shit. No, but it is good to get out and do some fucking hard work or, or experience life and, and realize that you've got it pretty fucking good. You need to stop complaining so much. It's okay to complain about some problems in life. Some problems need to be solved. There will always be some sort of problem. Well, there is a, a sort of a um, um, a truth that has been observed in history. Uh, it, it's true of, of, for instance, when the Soviet Union broke up, and that is that people don't revolt when pe when things are getting worse. They re they revolt when things are getting slightly better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. No, that that's that's something that historians say. So. I don't know. I'm not an historian, but that's, <clears throat> that's something that maybe they say. from one from one perspective, it is like 
because you know technology and stuff is getting better and life is slowly getting easier no no but no, no. Are, I'm, it, know, it's not it's got nothing to do with that it's just something that they say happens throughout history people just don't do it when it's getting worse but if it gets slightly better that's when they revolt and i just i, I don't see things were things were not getting slightly better in france under napoleon like <laughs> Things were horrifying. People were starving in the streets while the rich people dined on everything. And the fucking wars everywhere. Napoleon was trying to conquer every goddamn thing. People were dying by the millions. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. The French Revolution was caused by coffee. Everybody knows it. <laughs> <laughs> also, the French Revolution, Revolution didn't lead to anything positive. God. So who cares about those fucking frog eaters? Ranquist, that was the French Roast Revolution. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> I apologize. I, I, I don't know much about history. I just make shit up. I just... <laughs> <laughs> What do we want? A cure for Tourette's. When do we want it? Cunt! Yep. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, you know, like, why did we revolt against Britain? Was it because times were getting better? No, we were getting our shit taxed. Fucking George was a crazy-ass king who wouldn't stop fucking... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, making was, our lives miserable. That, that was well, kind of a, that was more of a principle stand. That wasn't really yeah. like the same thing as when you look at Soviet Union. I mean, well, things I, were only getting better at when the Revolutionary War hit because we just got out of a war. Yeah, but you know, wasn't the French it a Indian War? Wasn't it a minority though that wanted that? Wanted I, what? I think the majority wanted to stay, didn't they? Fuck no. No. No, I, could, hell I mean, no. I could have that wrong. I, I don't remember exactly. No, no. Our our revolution was pretty... Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There were Americans who sided with the British and were loyal to the king. That did happen, but it was not some minority. Well, no, and had, that's not strange. We had hundreds of thousands of troops and militia. Those people believed in the cause, man. They were patriots. Yeah, but it's not strange that there were people who believed in the king because, obviously, it's yeah, a new country. If if yeah, someone just yeah. said, "Okay, now Texas is a country," people would be like, "Um, I don't know. Should I believe in this or not?" That's <laughs> probably what happened back then, you know. Mm. And there were not. Yeah, there were plenty. Not all all people were convinced, so that's understandable. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I don't think it was a minority. Practically every fucking. Yeah, I've no idea know, if it colonial, was colonial. Every, you know, practically every colonial territory was like, "Yeah, we're tired of the king." Fuck yeah, him. yeah, probably. I'm, yeah, I, I have no statistics on it, so no. Um, there was obviously some British, you know, like some American colonists who sided with the British and became local British officers and stuff like that, and, uh, and yeah. served their king. But man, the the, the greater part of our nation rose up against. And then they became became red shirts. We all know, but it wasn't where that it wasn't, leads. But that's the thing, though. <laughs> yeah, that too, that means it? you get dead. Yep. <laughs> but here's the thing, too. It's not like we. It was an unreasonable revolution. We went to the king. We we pleaded with him to give us more equal representation and lighten up on the taxes. We did everything diplomatically before we decided to pick up guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least we could say that about our founding, you know, colonial fathers that they at least tried to appeal to the king. They were willing to stay a colony of the British Empire. The king would be reasonable. The problem... Okay, did did you die or... Did it was actually, I've seen YouTubers actually debating that if monarchies are better than republics or democracies. My problem with monarchies are they only work for the first generation. After that, you're really gambling with shit. Well, that's because it's a bad idea when cousins I think marry. you cut out Major League here. I'm not sure if that was just me, but um, since... No, I heard him fine. Yeah, that means that the people in in, uh, in the stream probably didn't, because obviously the stream okay. is coming from me, so I have no idea what you said. Okay, I'll, I'll repeat it. Um, I've heard the people on... Uh youtube discussing monarchies and i think they're really uh, you know whether they're better than republics or democracies and i think the monarchies are actually um really brilliant be but the problem is they only work for the first generation 
of that monarchy. And then after that, they you're really gambling if whether they keep going or just fall to shit. Yeah, it's it's a and stupid the, system. Uh, and and then I said that's because it's a bad idea when cousins marry. Yeah, yeah there's that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, no, it's not going to work. This idea of like pure blood royal and we got to keep it in the family. That's a bad idea Oof. from the get go. <laughs> Well, see, and, and that's what I love about our system, though, real quick, about our Constitution, Bill of Rights and everything, because if you look at it and uh, you study it, not, I mean, you don't even have to, like, really, really study it. If you just kind of get the gist of what they're where they're coming from, the entire Constitution, everything I can see in, in the amendments and everything, it's based off not trusting anybody. <laughs> that's yep. a good that's a good way to look at it, because you but, shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. No. Especially but another you shouldn't trust politicians, especially. <sighs> Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's why the balance of power is so necessary. Yeah. You know, well, it's, it's, um, it's, well they, they didn't trust check, the popular vote. Checks so and balances. You, yeah, but you that's, can say they didn't, they didn't but another, because, a, you know, a more, a more modern argument against your idea of revol people revolting when things are actually getting better is Venezuela. Ooh, you know, I, yeah. I hated all that rhetoric coming out when the Venezuela thing kicked off and people were actually like fighting Maduro's men and trying to fucking up, you know, like, you know, rise up and knock him out of power. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I hated this rhetoric coming out off of Twitter. The fucking left went crazy. It was like Trump and the CIA are trying are like funding the rebellion. And it's like, <laughs> dude, starving people don't need a fucking excuse to revolt. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Not everything is a goddamn CIA conspiracy, you fucking retards. Actually, I have a theory that might prove undoomed correct. Oh? And that is this, is that if things are really bad and getting worse, right? Okay, my God? Okay. If they slightly get better and they pretty much always get worse under either totalitarian or dictatorships or, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, the thing is, is that if they start slightly getting better for the people... Maybe that might be an indicator to people that the, the controls by that dictator, whoever's in control, is actually weakening, and therefore a revolt would work. So yeah. people are more likely right. to believe it. Right. And maybe that's what historians mean, because I could buy yes. that, the psychology of that. It's like things are getting better because what we're doing to rebuild our country, despite that fucking asshole, is working. Right. You know? Um, so I can... I can yeah, I could get behind that theory. That's yeah. I'm, I'm not a historian, so I, I don't know the exact ins and outs of it. But 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 when when black market smugglers make more money bringing baby power, baby formula into the country than cocaine, you've got a problem. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna go throw that out there. When they make more money smuggling in baby formula than cocaine, you've got a fucking problem. Especially when, That's why I've always said... Especially when you have huge gas reserves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why I've always said, with socialism, you get bread lines. Yeah. With capitalism, you get cocaine lines. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your weapon. There you go. <laughs> 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 so oh uh, anyway we've we've got about what eight minutes and then you know i told you that i had plans tonight so um, right right we got about seven minutes yeah it just turned 9 53 p.m my time so um, all right I i'll, I'll head out and i'll let you guys finish up the show if you guys want yeah thanks for dropping in yeah I'm man really it was that, nice yeah. having you here you guys, you guys both rock, and uh, I'm doomed. Thanks for liking that uh, tweet I put out a while ago on, the, on my video, man. No problem. Uh, 200, <laughs> almost almost 300 views now. I'm, I'm getting yelled at from all directions. For it. <laughs> <laughs> the way you want it. That's, yep. that's when you know you're a good and proper. Yeah, if no asshole. one wants to kill you, you're not doing your job. Yeah. That's right. I, I, always, I always tell everybody, if you're going to make a video and you don't get one thumbs down, you didn't make it correct. Nope. You didn't do it right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. I'm doomed. I really appreciate you, man. Thanks, Magog. See you, man. Take care, man. Later. All right. All right. All right. So six minutes then, I guess. Yep. Yep. Six <laughs> minutes. Uh, we can uh, cap it off, or you can read uh, super chat. I don't know if there are any more, but uh, no, I, I'm, you know. I'm. I think we're we're just too we're small for up. for any super chats. We had we had a couple before and we've taken care of that so thank you very much for that 
Uh, so I, we're up to date with that. I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, this two hour unprofessionals. Uh, hope hope we brought you entertainment and comedy and good plenty of laughs and um, you know cr- you know cries of agony and to, a, yeah a little bit of pain. Yeah, a little bit of pain. It's hurt. It's it hurts good. so good. That's what we want to hear. Yeah, because I'm a sadist. Well, well, I, you know, I support that. You know? <laughs> like, I don't, yeah. I don't like to kink shame, you know. No, because <laughs> you're not a sadist. And I, and I am glad that we started kind of putting a time limit on our unprofessional streams because I don't like beating a dead horse to a pulp, you know, <laughs> you know. Really? Um, really? You know? Well, it's a dead horse, you know. But it's a nice dead horse. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty pony. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a pretty, I don't pony. even know where to, I don't even know where to go with this line of joke. So I'm just, no, I that. don't know either. It's just yeah. probably go to the next line of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, everybody who's in the chat right now, uh, thanks for sticking around, I guess, you know, um, yeah, I mean, th- this was a, a nice trial run for doing the call-in shows, so that's good. Yep, we we know it yeah, works. Yeah, we wanted to try that. Yeah, and uh, I I have had, a, I guess I could use this moment to kind of, you know, just, just uh, for those who didn't watch my little video I did, uh, there has been kind of a hold put on my content, but I'm going to. I'm going to get back to doing a few more videos before I move because things got put off. So it's it's looking like I'm not going to move until June. So I'm going to do some more content. When you say June, end. do you mean first of June or? No, no, probably the middle to end of June. Uh-huh. Um, it's just taking some time. We had a good long series of storms come through that pushed everything back like three weeks. Right. And uh, so I've still got to wait for like the contractors to, you know, do the water and the electricity and all that stuff out there. I have a house. I just can't move into it because none of the utilities are hooked up. Right. And right. Uh, come come to find out, you know, I've got to wait like up to 15 days just for the electrical company to get out there, do their thing. So, right. Um, right. you know, it is what it is. But uh, I my audience has been pretty understanding on that point. I just thought I'd uh, I just thought I'd mention it. Good. Do you have any announcements? You got any new videos coming out or anything like that? Um, yeah, but not any anything that I'm gonna say any or, or commit to any time frame. So no. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. I got I got a lot of work to do on my with my day job, but um, yeah, um, I'm trying to figure out some some more time to make my videos, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I am a a YouTuber who does what he can when he has the time, basically. Yeah, we've all been there. No, you haven't. You're a professional YouTuber. <laughs> not all the time. My first year, I wasn't. I was a hobbyist. I've only just recently become a full-time YouTuber, but right. man, right. I had like full-time school. I had homework. I had three fucking cleaning contracts. For a job, I had a, a, a work, what is it, a student work study program too, and I was doing videos. So, like, I actually don't miss those days. I kind of like being a full time YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Of course, when when that's your job, that I can certainly understand that. Yeah, Ooh, cleaning toilets or talking on YouTube. Okay. I know. Very tough they, choice. Uh, uh, there's only one place to go when you hit rock bottom, and that's to YouTube. I just... <laughs> well, I'll let you uh, close out the show. I, I've said my piece. Thanks, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think that's it. I, um, I'd i like to thank everyone for showing up and um, helping us figure this call-in show format out. That was awesome. And thank you for your donations. And uh uh, I will see you next time. I will uh, also go and check out everything in the chat in, on um, Discord right now. So I'll see you there. And that will be the end of the stream. So take care. <laughs>